Welcome back to bringing yoga into our daily lives. Today we learn that the purpose of yoga is to unite our mind, our body, our inner self and spirit. All styles of yoga is a great way to help us balance the mind, body and inner self. Simultaneously focusing our mind as we relax into the depths of our inner being, finding peace when we find that breath alignment with the body. Yoga makes us feel better. Practicing postures with mindfulness and focus using breathing techniques and meditation makes us healthier in our mind, body, and inner self. This allows us to tune in, chill out, and shape up at the same time, finding peace, harmony, and alignment within. So today we have a little poster here, and it has the benefits of yoga. The benefits of yoga are like a sunshine rays as it has many benefits. It increases lung health, protects from injury, increases heart health, lowers blood sugar, increases strength, flexibility as it promotes sleep quality, fighting anxiety and depression, increasing self-esteem. Then we come to the five A's of asana. This is our physical yoga postures, awareness, attention, alignment, acceptance, and allow. Like a tree, we root ourselves in awareness. We pay attention to ourselves and bring in focus. We use alignment in the body as we find the most efficient path to a goal supported by nature. We accept what is and every part of us. Then we allow the best path forward to unfold. So let's get started with yoga. Have it. Let's get started in our yoga. So we're going to talk about alignment real quick. I like to use a ball or a block. So a lot of times in yoga, we want to check our alignment like with chair pose. So a chair pose, we can grab a block. We could put it right above the knees, about an inch or two above the knees. And then we squeeze those inner thighs. Now this is hip align apart here. So this is perfect for moving into chair pose and keeping those hips or keeping the feet hip width distance apart as we hinge back. So remember in chair pose, we're keeping a nice flat back. We hinge back, we find alignment knees to ankles, and we find alignment between the legs so we're not moving, that our knees don't move in or out. You could also use a ball if you don't have a block or maybe even a pillow. If you don't have any of the above, remember a fist also can measure the hip width distance apart between the knees. So bringing a fist right between the knees to find that alignment. We're also going to work through our warriors. So let's get started here with our breath. As we roll the shoulders back, relax the arms. We're back to hip width distance apart, grounded into the soles of the feet. Let's inhale, lengthen the arms up and over. We're going to inhale through the nose here, and we're going to start with exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. And even trying to slow the breath here. Exhale as we press away. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Now we're going to start bringing the breath in and out of the nose. Let's open the legs a little bit wider here. We want to come into more of a straddle pose. Our knees are soft to protect our joints and to strengthen our joints. So let's keep the knees soft. Let's keep those toes pointing forward from the heels. Inhale, let's bring that breath up with the arms. And let's exhale, stabilize into the soles of the feet. We're going to twist and open to one side. Inhale, lengthen forward and up. And exhale, twist open to the other side. Inhale, lengthening forward and up. Exhale, let's release the hands coming all the way back down to the hips. 
Inhale, let's lift through the heart, bring the gaze up, tighten the core, navel to spine as we have a tight core, and exhale, flat back as the heart leads us forward and down. As the heart leads us forward and down, let's release the hands from the hips, bring them all the way down the legs. And maybe even grasping ankles or legs here, we're just relaxing the hands. Remember, knees are soft here. Let's relax the head and say yes with the head. And then say no with the head. Letting the body relax here. Keeping those knees soft, let's bring hands back up to the hips. Keep a flat back, tight core, and let's start to hinge up from the floor, lifting back up, trying to press into our heels and into our glutes as we come all the way back up. Inhale, lengthening through the arms. Exhale, twist open. Inhale, lifting, lengthening. Exhale, twist open to the other side. Inhale, lengthening up and over. Let's exhale, release one arm, lateral flexion as we reach over to that other side. Inhale, lengthening up, still moving with our breath. Staying focused on our breath as well as our posture and alignment here. Inhale, lengthening up and over. And again, let's exhale this time, sweep the hands by the side, hinge forward like we would for forward fold, hands can come to the hips or they can release all the way down this time to our mat, to the floor, to the earth. Let's soften those knees and flatten the back. Try to find length all the way through the back, even if we bring fists for wrists here, tucking in the thumbs, finding that joint alignment, softening the knees, keeping the back flat and aligned. Let's inhale, open the arms, strength through the heels, through the glutes, as we lift with a flat back all the way up and over. Let's exhale, palms together, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthening up. Now this time, let's exhale, release the hands to the back of us, just lightly on the back of us, roll the shoulders back, squeeze those scapulas together, down the back, tight core again, and then lift up through the heart, lifting the gaze like we would for our camel pose. Nice deep breaths, even drawing elbows together towards the midsection as we draw the shoulders back and down. One more breath here. And let's exhale, align the back, heart leads, nice flat back all the way down again. Bringing hands to the mat. Remember, not a lot of weight in the hands. Let's inhale, flatten the back, and bring one hand to center of the mat. We're gonna inhale and twist, opening up through that flat back, opening through the shoulders, as our hips and legs are stable, pressing into the soles of the feet. Let's exhale and release. Focusing as well on the breath. Inhale, opening and lengthening. Focusing now on breathing in and out of the nose. Nice deep breaths. And let's exhale, release. Hands back on the hips, tighten core, tighten the glutes, heels pressing into the mat as we lift back up. Inhale, lengthening up and over. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart. We're gonna continue warming up the back and the hips. So let's take those heel toe, heel toe, and tell we're maybe shoulder width distance apart, maybe a little bit greater. So we're not quite as wide as we were with straddle, and we're going to switch our feet. So the heels now point in, the toes point slightly out. Let's check in with our alignment. Alignment is so important here, finding knee to ankle, and the knees point the same direction as our toes. So we have that nice alignment, and now we're finding alignment in the back as we roll the shoulders back. Let's inhale, bring those arms up and over, coming into Moonflower, staying in that position that I just showed you, exhaling, drawing elbows all the way down to the rib cage, pressing in the midsection, palms forward, as we're in that squat-like position. Let's inhale, lengthen up and over. Exhale, back into Moonflower. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, moonflower. Inhale, lengthening up and over. 
and exhale, Moonflower. Remember, Moonflower comes all the way down. Inhale, let's lengthen up and over. We're going to turn this into a Sunflower. So we're going to keep the same position, but we're going to widen those hands out, making a huge Sunflower or a big circle as we come all the way down and then reaching back up. Inhaling here, let's exhale back into sunflower. Option now to hinge forward if you like. Keep a flat back, heart leads forward, sweeping all the way down towards the floor, then inhaling, lifting up. So find your option here, whether we stay seated up as we exhale, finding that big circle, and inhale, lengthening up or we can exhale, hinge forward, keep the flat back, heart leads, making the circle even bigger. Inhale, let's lengthen up and over. Last one, exhaling your option, whether we're sitting up, hinging forward, and let's inhale, lengthen back up. Exhale, release. Releasing those hands. Now keeping the same posture, let's just bring hands right here on top of the legs. Roll the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath. As we exhale, hinging back again, let the hands come down maybe to the knees. Notice if the soles of the feet stay on the ground here. Now, we're trying to move into our garland pose. So just start to bring those glutes back and down. Seeing how far we can make it with keeping those heels on the ground. We may need to bring the, the feet in slightly closer as we come all the way down. We can bring palms, to, palms together, hands to heart as we open and press open the knees by pressing those elbows on the inner thighs and, and on the knees. Hands are back at heart. Let's make sure we lengthen through our back here. Another breath. And let's exhale, bring hands back out to the knees and start to lift through the glutes, lift the body. Let's inhale, lengthen up and over. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart. Let's heel toe, coming back to hip width distance apart. Starting somewhere on the mat. Hopefully we have the mat forward. So come into the end part of your mat. If you're not on a mat, no problem. We're finding that hip width distance apart. Let's just step one foot forward. As we step one foot forward, those hips are already forward facing. Knee ankle alignment, checking in. We can see our big toe. Our hips are forward facing. Let's lift that heel. Take a nice deep inhale as we lift the heel. Let's exhale, bring that heel slightly in. As we brought that heel slightly in, our hips might have slightly shifted open. So let's make sure to shift forward again. Inhale, bring the arms forward and up. We have our first warrior pose here. This is warrior one. So we're pressing evenly into the soles of the feet. And we're lifting up through the torso, through the arms as the abs tuck in, and we find the breath. Let's exhale. We're going to open those arms up. So same side arm, two leg, that is pointed forward comes forward. The other arm comes back. Notice that our hips went from forward facing to the side. Our shoulders move to the side. Check in with that front knee. It's still aligned with the ankle and toes. Then bring those arms out, palms face down, and bring the gaze back over the front fingertips. As we press through the soles of the feet, tighten through the body, we're relaxing the shoulders. We're bringing the gazing point over our fingertips. And now we're gonna come into reverse warrior. So let's relax that hand behind us as a guiding hand, palm faces up for the hand in front of us, and inhale, reach it up as the palm faces you. Now it's up to you if you want to look upward, if your balance is okay. If it's not, you can always bring the gaze forward to the side, just finding alignment here with the neck and with the spine as we do this. Let's exhale, release that. 
We're going to take our hips again and let's bring them back forward. Let's lift that back heel and move the heel directly back behind us again. So all toes point forward, hips point forward, and we're going to open up the arms in a cactus for Anjani Asana or our high lunge here. Opening through the chest, through the heart, keeping tension in the legs. Let's exhale, release the arms, soften that back knee and press back to hip width distance apart. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips, tight core, flat back, all the way to the floor, soften the knees, and bring the head close. You can grab a hold of behind the legs for our forward fold, then release the arms. We're coming into monkey, hands on shins, Start to bring the gaze forward, roll the shoulders back, press the heart forward while keeping that flat back and abs in. Taking a nice deep inhaling breath, let's exhale back into forward fold. Now once again, let's press through our heels, tighten our glutes, hinge our hips, flatten our back, open the arms all the way up as we come into reverse swan dive, lifting up and over. And exhale, hands back to heart. We're simply moving on to the other side of the body. So let's step it forward. Find that alignment. Knee, ankle, toes point forward, hips point forward. Lift the back heel and let's draw it slightly in. Press down. Let's find even weight between the soles of the feet. So press into our mat. Press into the earth. And then make sure those hips are forward facing. Inhale, bring the arms up and over. Focus on something here as we lengthen through the torso so we can find that inner focus. When you bring your eyes to focus, and then you bring your breath into focus, you're also working on the inside of the body as we start to press through the soles of the feet, lengthen through the torso. One more breath in our warrior one. And let's exhale warrior two. Simply bring same side hand to bent knee forward. Same side hand to the back leg, back, palms face down. Our hips move from forward to the side, opening. As we open, let's check in with that front knee. Let's make sure we have that alignment. We see our big toe. We're relaxing those shoulders as we look over the front fingertips for warrior two. Let's find the breath. Make sure we're taking nice, deep, full belly breaths in and out of the nose. Let's exhale, reverse warrior as we release the hand down behind us, palm faces up with the other hand, keeping same posture. Let's just reach that arm up, reaching up for the sky, palm faces us, fingertips up towards the ceiling. And remember, if this hurts the neck in any way, you can always bring that gaze forward to the side, or even if we lose balance, we can bring the gaze down as well. From here, let's exhale, release that hand, Release it all the way down. Hips now coming forward again. And as the hips come forward, let's lift that back heel. Make sure we swivel on the balls of the feet and the toes as to make all toes pointing forward. Heel lifted behind us. Bent knee in front of us. Open up those cactus arms. Palms face forward. Open through the heart. Remember, we have a nice tight core here as we press through the feet. And we're just opening up, having a few deep breaths here in our high lunge. And let's exhale, release that, stepping forward. As we step forward, inhale up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, let's see if we can bring our hands all the way to the ground and step it back into our downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we have hip width distance apart, soft knees, flat in the back, and the arms and hands are shoulder width distance apart. We press through the palms of the hands, through the knuckles, through the fingers evenly. Let's check in with our hands and see if we can't bring that pressure all the way through the fingers, all the way through the hands. Starting to make our way into our plank pose. We're flattening the back. Lengthening all the way through, roll the shoulders back, 
finding that joint alignment again. Focusing on the breath as well as core strength and length. Let's exhale, gently bring the knees down, untuck our toes. We're gonna to come all the way back for extended child's pose. Glutes to heels, reach those hands forward, and let's release the head between the arms. Nice deep breaths here. Just refocusing and center, we're going to inhale, lift the head, still stretching those arms, keeping the legs in the same position. Let's walk the hands to one side. We're moving into an extended child's pose to the side as we release the head. Another deep breath here. Let's exhale and walk the hands. We can lift the head again, keep ourselves low, and simply walk the hands all the way over to the other side. Stretching, lengthening, grounding with the palms of the hands as we release the head again. come all the way back so as we come back stretch to the palms stretch to the fingers shoulder distance apart we can bring the gaze forward as we're going to come into our kneeling plank so let's inhale bring it all the way forward roll those shoulders back and then draw those elbows in we're moving through crocodile exhale hinge at the hips keep a flat back keep those elbows into the rib cage as we bring first our chin our heart then our pelvis all the way down. Let's keep the hands by our sides and roll those shoulders back. Squeeze the scapulas together. Squeeze the elbows in towards the rib cage and inhale, let's lift the head. Lift the chest and see if we can't lift the palms of the hands. Still breathing here, not holding the breath. Another breath. And let's exhale, release down. And inhale, pressing back up to kneeling plank. This time, tuck the toes under and back. Exhale, let's bring glutes to heels, toes tucked under. So we're stretching the back part of the foot. As we stretch the back part of the foot, the sole, let's press into the palms, roll the shoulders back, flatten through the back, and just giving that light pressure so that we feel the soles of the feet start to open. Nice deep breaths here. Let's start to make our way forward. Coming all the way forward to the mat, sitting down on the glutes. We're gonna do something a little bit fun here. Hopefully you have plenty of room. Let's keep the knees bent. Bring our hands underneath the knees. And as we roll up and down on the mat or on the earth, we're gonna be rolling on the back. Let's just make sure that we don't roll onto our neck, that we only roll to between the shoulder blades. So hang on to the backs of the knees. And let's go ahead, round the back, rolling up and down. Feeling that good massage here. And then we're going to find balance. So on your roll up, let's hinge those knees. Keep them hip width distance apart. We're hanging onto the backs of the legs. I'm finding balance on my glutes. Let's roll the shoulders back. Lift through the heart, lengthen through the back, through the neck here and our bent leg boat. Then let's exhale, release the soles of the feet on the ground. Let's take hands wrapping on top of the knees, roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift through the heart, lift the gaze. Nice deep breath, let's exhale, round through the back, chin into chest. Again, let's inhale, lengthen through the heart, lifting up. And exhale, rounding it back like we would for cat. Rounding all the way through the pelvis, chin in the chest, navel to spine. Let's inhale, lengthen through the back again. Roll those shoulders back, lengthen, find that flat back, hands back under the knees, and let's lift the feet up off the mat for our 
boat pose again. Now, if this is really easy for you, you can lengthen all the way out and you can reach those hands forward as we keep a flat back. Or you can continue to hang on to the backs of the legs, finding that bent leg boat. Let's exhale this time, bring the soles of the feet down and let's bring our hands back behind us. Fingers point forward. Soften the elbows here for a moment. Roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart, lift the gaze on an inhale. Then exhale, just keeping a flat back and maybe softening the elbows. Our next inhale, we're coming into tabletop. That means hips lift. So inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, let's bring them back down. Inhale, lifting hips, tabletop. And exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lifting hips, tabletop. And exhale, release. Let's go ahead and move into a balancing wide-legged boat. So this here, we're coming back to the glutes. Our knees this time are opening up. The soles of the feet can come together like we would for butterfly. Let's roll the shoulders back. Take two peace fingers around the big toes. Take a nice deep breath as we roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart, find that flat back, tilt back, finding again balance. Then slowly start to bring out the legs, allowing them to be wide. So we might first balance in our bent leg wide boat here, finding a drisky point. This is simply a point of focus for the eyes. Then we can start to lengthen all the way out when you're ready. Making sure we have balance, length through the back. More importantly, having length and stacked vertebrae than it is to lengthen through the legs. And let's exhale, slowly coming back. Using balance, let's bring the soles of the feet together like we would for butterflies. So those heels are close to the body, soles of the feet together. Let's rock gently left and right. Just moving left and right. Coming back into our breath focus here. And then start to lengthen tall. Keep those knees open. We can grab a hold of those ankles. Let's roll the shoulders back. Lengthen all the way through the crown of the head. This is top part of the head towards the back. Lifting up through the neck, through the vertebrae. As we have that nice flat back, we're lifting up here. Let's exhale, hinge up the elbows, opening the legs a little bit more, and then starting to bring the heart forward. Let's keep the flat back. So letting the shoulders roll back. Expanding breath on the inhales, and the exhales might sink us forward and down. Keeping the flat back the entire time. Inhale, expanding breath. Expanding breath helps open up in the joints, in the muscles as we exhale, relaxing heart towards the feet. Focusing on a deep breath here, in and out of the nose, allowing that expansion in the hips, the knees, the back. Gently release that. As we release, let's lengthen those legs. Let's use hands on knees, lengthening those legs to the end of the mat. Still sitting nice and tall, let's lift those toes up for dorsiflexion. You can keep the knees soft. Take a nice deep breath. Let's exhale, shoulders to fingertips, reach forward, reaching past those toes if we can. Taking another deep breath, keeping it flat back as we reach forward. And exhale, let's go ahead and release our hands down to our legs. So it may not reach the toes, that's okay. If you can reach the toes, the ankles, or even if we're all the way here where we're just reaching the knees and we're not quite that flexible yet, that is okay. We don't wanna overdo it. We don't want pain, we just wanna feel a little bit of discomfort from stretching the muscles. 
So let's roll those shoulders back, lengthen through the back, wherever we have our grip, whether it's anywhere along the legs, ankle, feet, or toes. Let's exhale and round the back, release the head, tuck in the abs, navel the spine. As we inhale, let's roll the shoulders back, press the heart forward, lift through the neck, the head. Feeling that belly up full of air as we expand. And again, let's exhale, navel to spine, releasing forehead, towards the knees. Inhale, lengthen through a flat back. Expanding breath. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, lengthening. Expanding. Exhale, compressing and releasing. Last one, inhale, find that length in the back. Expansion in the heart. Then let's exhale, just gently release where we're at, keeping that flat back as we come all the way back up, sitting position, roll those shoulders back. Let's take a moment, bend one knee, keep that other leg lengthened, and see if we can't bring that leg all the way over to the other side and plant the foot. If not, you can always plant the foot on the same side. It's just up to you. So it's up to your body how you feel today. Let's check in with how we feel today. So making sure that we're feeling good, comfortable, safe here. Let's take opposite arm to that knee wrap it around and bring the other arm lengthening up finding again that torso length length all the way through the vertebrae and then we're going to exhale open that shoulder let's bring that palm all the way down fingers face the back wall now as we press into that palm lifting through the heart rolling those shoulders back and down finding that length and twisting here looking behind us if we can if your neck doesn't allow this or this has somehow painful then just simply look to our side as we continue to twist through the body. Nice deep breaths here. Always focusing on the breath as well as our alignment. And let's exhale, slowly release that. So as we release, Let's let go of that leg, lengthen it all the way down. And today our key word is alignment. Let's find that sole of the foot back on the ground, whether it's right here, or if we can, bring it all the way over on the other side of the leg, still planting that foot. Remember, opposite arm is going to wrap around that knee leg. The other arm lifts up, try to lengthen through the torso, through the body, nice flat back. And exhale, opening up. Bring the palm all the way down, allow a twist through the shoulders as we roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the torso and see if we can't look behind us. And exhale, slowly releasing, letting go as we come back all the way to the floor. So if we didn't catch that key word, just again, it's alignment today, finding alignment. So let's go ahead and find the hands underneath the knees again, round through the back, softly come all the way back this time, hug the knees in like we're giving ourselves a good hug just as tight as we can squeeze, lifting the head, head towards the knees, and let's gently rock left and right. And release. As we release down, soles of the feet come down. Let's bring our palms all the way down to the ground, arms to our sides. Let's try and bring it into our bridge pose to help us lengthen through the neck and shoulders. Plant the feet firmly, knees hip width distance apart, lifting hips up as we inhale. Remember, this should not crunch the neck, so on this inhale, you should feel a widening between the shoulders and a length between the neck. Palms can face down as we lift the hips. Taking a nice deep breath here, let's exhale and release the vertebrae all the way down. As we release the vertebrae down, we're coming into our Shavasana pose here. So let's move to palms facing up. 
making sure we're comfortable. If we have any low back issues at all, let's heel toe opening up the feet slightly and allowing the knees to come to center. And then keeping the arms open. This is fine for Shavasana, especially if we have any low back issues. If we don't have any low back issues and we feel great today, let's just take one leg at a time all the way down to the ends of the mat and allow the legs to be open. Allow them to be at least mat with distance apart just so that we're relaxing. Let's take a moment, take a nice deep inhale, squeeze fists, squeeze the body, tighten as much as we can, finding every bit of contraction we can through the body. And then exhale, release and relax. Taking nice deep breaths again. Let's close the eyes and focus on our breath. In and out of the nose. We might even bring a hand over the belly so that we can feel the expansion that happens in the abs. The exhale as the abs sink back down towards the floor. Noticing when we properly breathe, it's not just in the lungs, but it's also in the belly and in the body. So just taking a moment to find the breath, expanding and releasing. And then when you're ready, open the arms back up and relax here. Today, you're invited to relax in the infinite space of your heart and allow yourself to receive. As we meditate today, hold yourself in loving awareness and let your heart receive. Many of us were taught that it is better to give than receive. And we may have interpreted this to mean we should keep giving of ourselves even at the expense of our physical, mental, and emotional health. But we can only give love and relationships if we have it available within us. That means we need to take care of ourselves first. We need to support and nurture our body, our mind, our heart, and inner self so that love can flow fully in all aspects of life. Giving and receiving are different aspects of the same flow of energy in the universe. Just as every exhalation depends upon an inhalation, the flow of love in our lives depends on our ability to receive and to take care of ourselves. Take a moment and feel what does it feel like to receive a compliment? What does it feel like to receive a gift? or a helping hand. Do you accept this with ease and gratitude? Or do you find yourself blocking incoming positivity and support? you have trouble accepting, where do you think this stems from? And how can you begin to embrace these extensions of love?
inhaling and exhaling. Opening up through the body with the breath as we allow love to flow through our own body. Feeling the heart expand with the breath of love as it expands through the belly and starting to expand through the limbs, our legs, our arms reaching through the toes, the fingertips, and even the crown of the head. Each breath bringing in love. And just allowing unconditional love to move through the body on an inhale and moving on an exhale. Finding this abundant cycle of giving and receiving. And now as we find stillness within the mind, within the body, We focus on our mind, Sarvatva Nama. This is Sanskrit, for I open my awareness to the wholeness of life. Sarvatva Nama. And just in and out of the breath, quietly in the mind, we repeat the words on our breath. Inhaling Sarvatva and exhaling Nama. And just keeping that focus with the breath, silent words Sarvatva Nama. And if we find that our mind wanders or goes to other thoughts, being kind to ourselves. And when we notice, we just simply bring it back to focus, coming back to Sarvatva Nama, as we repeat those words in our mind, on our breath. And then starting to release Sarvatva Nama, Sarvatva Nama, 
releasing those words as we let go and just bringing our awareness back into our breath inhaling and exhaling and as we bring our breath back finding a deeper breath as we inhale and we expand through the body through the limbs through the fingers through the toes starting to find maybe a contraction as we stretch overhead stretching overhead and when we are ready we move gently to our left side if we can in our fetal position this just simply means moving to the left side and maybe even hugging in the knees giving ourselves another hug as we round through the back and when we are ready we try to use arm strength as we press through the palms of the hands lifting us back up thank you for joining me today and here where we learn namaste we simply bring our hands together namaste have a wonderful day